Hi everyone, John Batdorf here, and today I want to talk to you about metadata. Now, metadata is information that is stored at time of capture. So it's basically your camera information, uh, your focal length, your ISO, whether or not your camera fired its flash, the model of your camera. If you have a cell phone or a GPS device, it'll record that as well. Now beyond that, when you're developing an image in Camera Raw, it can save all those settings as well. So did I increase vibrance, did I increase the clarity, uh, black, so forth. It'll store all that information. And one step further, any keywording that you do. So if you do any sort of keywording for search, it can save that information as well. Now why is this a big deal? Well, when we export out images, Sometimes we don't want to share all that information. We want to control what we're putting out there. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to want to go underneath File and then Export. So here we are. Here's the dialog box. And what you're going to want to do is drag all the way down to where it says Metadata. Now currently it's set for all. That means it's going to write everything to the file. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to control what people are seeing. So you, you click right here. And I can do copyright only, so it's just going to be copyright, better photography, or maybe I want copyright and then contact information so they can reach out to me if they come across an image they, that they want to buy or use on something. Or you may want to select um, all the information except for camera and raw edit. So basically that's going to be anything about your camera or any of the edits that you made during uh, the raw conversion. Or you may just leave it at all. Uh, now, if I'm uploading to a service for sale, I typically just leave it at all and I'll upload everything. Um, but when I'm posting online, I typically leave it right here at copyright and contact information only. Now, I want to show you two files so you have an idea of, you know, what this all means once it's exported. So I'm going to open up two images in Bridge and then show you one that has all the information in it and one that I just have the co copyright and contact information. So here we are in Bridge, and these are our two images that we export out. One, the one with the five stars, has all the metadata. And this is a file that I would typically um, export to a service where I'm selling stock photography. Uh, I think it's important that they have a lot of this information, so I'll, I'll send that file. And it's going to have the what I use to process the image. It will have all, all my keyword information here, which is really critical. And as we go down, it'll have my copyright information. Uh, the camera that I used, as well as some of the adjustments that I made. Now, some people don't like to share this information, and they they just would rather strip it out. And that's why, if you take a look, we go to just the copyright and contact uh, export that we did. We have just the basic information, the file size, the date it was created, um, and then our contact information. There's no keywording in here. There's nothing about the edits that you've made in Camera Raw, uh, and there's really no information about your camera itself. So I will use that this file right here, Copyright and Contact, when I'm exporting an image for my blog or anything with social media for the most part, so Facebook, Google+, I'll export the file using uh, that preset. Uh, so those are really the two big differences. You need to kind of think what you want to do. Um, it's a personal choice, really, but uh, those are the two settings I basically will use. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop me an email at john at com. Thanks a lot.